All right, I am recording once again, and hopefully this time it's not corrupted. I may need to switch to a new video recorder. Also, I've been reading this so much that Sayori, Sayori's voice is about to kill me. Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. And let the Sunder storm begin. Okay. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Comma splice, that should be a semicolon. Okay. Huh? Th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort, putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining, though I still don't really know if I could keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Gilbert, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. N manga I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? And this is where we learn that Yuri is me. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here it goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. 
Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working in a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have experience writing too, Yuri? Writing experience too. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Gilbert? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Huh. Gilbert. Y you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. But that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Gilbert, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. And with that, I think we will go ahead and save. And then next time, we can get into the poem writing. Bye, Carrie.